Uh, good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, back down here at the shop. It is Wednesday, October 5th. Uh, it's a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, kind of had an idea for a shop name. Uh, we used to use it for an off road club here in North Iowa. It's Outlaws of Iowa. So I think we're going to stick with that for right now. Even though the shop is registered with the state as Craft Automotive and Repair, I think we're going to kind of use Outlaws of Iowa for uh, YouTube purposes. Uh, took yesterday off, uh, stayed home with my son, kind of had some father-son bonding time. Uh, wife had to work today, so I had him all day and just got down here a little bit ago. Um, as you can see, a pile of crap that was all over here, all gone. Uh, the crotch rocket that was sitting there is gone. Uh, must be out riding it because all his cars are sitting home. As you can see, the door's still not put in. Landlord decided he's going to hire a professional carpenter to come in. Uh, supposed to be doing that sometime this week. Uh, we are going to get this thing done today. Uh, so it's movable because right now the hydrostat and everything, all the filters and everything are pulled off of it. Got the drain pan sitting there. Um, gonna clean up the bench here a bit. Get this all cleaned up. Get everything kind of rearranged. We got some more room in here. We decided to order the alternator for that one because local parts store wanted almost three hundred dollars for the alternator for that, and I uh, got it offline through eBay. I think it was eighty-nine dollars with shipping. So, and. Got outside. Uh, he had landlord had some of his crew come down, pick up all the wood and stuff there. Uh, they made a trash run. Evidently, they didn't get everything off that trailer. So, but they got all the branches and everything cleaned up out back. Stacked them in a nice pile right there because I am going to wood chip it. So uh, you can use it for putting underneath vehicles and stuff around the shop here. If anything is leaking. Um, still waiting on the board for this. So I can get that done before this weekend. Um, alternator for that is supposed to be here anywhere between, you know, I think they deliver till 6 o'clock tonight around here, and basically between today and Friday. And then uh, landlord is back in his wife's car out of the garage at their house and kind of caught the mirror and broke it, so he didn't get a bit of trouble. Um, got another one of those coming. Uh, snow plow is supposed to be leaving here in the next week or so. They're going to get pulled out in service for winter. And did get all the stuff out of that was being stored down here that wasn't mine out of here uh, the second, so about three days ago. That was Monday actually. I was down here late until about 10 o'clock at night again. So that's just kind of a little update to what's going on down here. We're going to actually use this wood chipper here in a few minutes. It just plugs in to a regular household extension cord. And it'll actually do, I think it's up two inches. Inch and a quarter, inch and a half. I've shoved a little bit bigger through there. Don't like it, but it'll work. And then, uh, let's see what's here. Hopefully this weekend we're going back out to the in-laws to drop off that big lawnmower um, and do some more wood chipping. I actually got to fill the back of the shop truck up with wood chips to take over to mom's house. I put a wood chip bed around her place. Uh, she had one for years and you know she used to buy the bags of wood chips. Took like. 10, 12 bags, something like that, and down here they're not cheap for bagged wood chips, so I was like, oh hell, I got a wood chipper, you know, plenty of trees down in the area, I'll cut them down, so I'm going to get an update, y'all have fun, bye.